Well, ArenaNet announced their fourth expansion for Guild Wars 2, Secrets of Obscure. And against all odds, the news actually reached me and was not just an email, so I guess there is still hope for the ArenaNet marketing team. But still, ArenaNet being ArenaNet, it gave me more questions than answers. However, I'm still in for it. A little bit of theorizing what is about to happen lore-wise. In the center of this expansion is a building which was already there at the start of Guild Wars 2 and at the start of Guild Wars 1. And lore-wise it was always there, even way before Guild Wars 1 times. The Wizard's Tower. The first time we see the Wizard's Tower is mid-air at the southwestern edge of Cassix Peak. And during Guild Wars 1 it is unknown who the tower belongs to and is basically only part of one quest where we prevent someone else from entering the tower. In Guild Wars 2, however, the tower was relocated to the southeastern edge of Cassix Hill for unknown reasons, near the town of Garenhof, and is known to be owned by a wizard named Iskaren. And this is basically it, what we know. However, the trailer of the fourth expansion revealed for the first time the inside of the tower. So what I think we see here is a portal or maybe a gateway, but I don't think it is a portal to another realm or dimension because it would be not very smart to hide such a thing near the continent and so obviously inside. I think it is a gateway to the new city we are about to visit called Amnitas. Because turns out Iskaren, the owner of the wizard tower, occasionally invited Townsfolk of Garenhof into the tower to never be seen again. So where could the new city Amnutas be located? I guess there are two options. First, it is a floating island in the clouds where the first humans who arrived on Tyria live, which basically means they could still have the knowledge why the gods left their own realms and are able to give us answers about nearly everything. And the second option, which in my opinion is the more likely one, is that Amnutas is located in the mists because in one description of a picture regarding the new expansion it says Discover a chain of islands high above Tyria, where distorted alternate universe reflections of the world below have taken life on their own. I think it could be the mists because the mists always strain towards creation, but the mist can't create things out of nothing. It needs a template, and in that case the template would have been Tyria which basically means Amnitas is the altered reality of Tyria within the mists and maybe the wizard tower was the gateway into that land within the mists. So there are actually two wizard towers, our in Tyria and one in the mists. And funny enough, it would not be the first time we visit an alternated reality of Tyria because the world vs world maps and PvP maps are exactly that where the people of Tyria fight for resources or redo events of the past in a never-ending loop. But what we also see is the disappearance of the wizard tower in the trailer. I guess the tower just relocated again because of a rising new threat and to prevent it from entering the gateway, they port it away to a location where we will enter the new expansion, maybe. But now is the question, what could that new enemy type be? Well, if you pre-purchase the expansion, you get the title Demon Hunter. So I guess it is almost confirmed that we are about to fight demons. And for this part we need to go a little bit further back, in fact, back to the point of creation. At the start of Tyria there was nothing, just void, and once Suwon came into existence and Suwon created Tyria. To do so, she split the Void into the six domains of magic, but she wasn't able to contain the Void herself. So she created the Elder Dragons for each domain of magic and was taking the domain of water herself. Anyways, now we are back to the default state, where one single being has control over all six domains of magic, named Aurene. It is almost safe to say that Aurene will struggle to contain the Void, same as Suwong was when she was just by herself. Which means there will be breaks in the interdimensional wall of Tyria, and these breaks will be the rifts we are about to encounter in the new expansion, called Rifts of Reality. And what a surprise, demons are very mad by nature. So basically demons are not created in the mists, they are created out of the mists. When the mist creates things, there will be failed attempts, and these failed attempts are demons. Demons are very similar to living beings of Tyria, but twisted in an obscure way. 
with the only purpose and desire to feast on the living, create devastation and also in some cases manipulate the living and they take every chance they can get to do so. For example in Nightfall they allied with Abaddon or they also allied with Menses, the half-brother of Balthazar or with Doom. And now, while Orin struggles to maintain balance, the demons try to enter the realm of Tyria. Everywhere a rift appears. And Orin can't really intervene because she will be in her 10,000 years slumber, unable to do anything. Okay, TLDR version of what I think is about to happen. I think due to Orin's struggle, demons are able to enter Tyria through rifts. And the wizard tower is a gateway to the mists, so it was relocated to prevent demons from entering. And everybody we will encounter as NPCs could be A. The first humans and their descendants with all the knowledge still available or B. Different version of Tyrian people like in a multiverse sense. For example Soja we see in the preview could be the real one or a different version created by the mists. And it is our job to close rifts all over Tyria to prevent demons from spreading in all realms. And the big bad will be most likely someone we know from Guild Wars 2. A very well known person but an alternate version of him. But that will be part of another video. Well, I guess we will see. However, I think the way ArenaNet displays itself with the new expansion looks promising. Maybe finally Guild Wars 2 gets the spotlight it deserves. And like always, thanks for watching and feel free to comment what you think is about to happen lore-wise in the fourth expansion. Because at this point everything is just a theory. And until then, I guess, until then. Sunshine for everyone, but as far as I can remember.